What's going on everyone? So the Lakers got their 11th win against the Detroit Pistons yesterday and it was quite an interesting game, right? Uh, the Detroit Pistons seemed to be making everything. I mean, they were taking some ridiculous shots and they were just all going in. Uh, Lakers perimeter defense continues to seem to struggle. They really just don't have the size uh, to really stop teams from just going off. Although, again, a lot of Detroit shots were just like really bad shots that were falling in. But nonetheless, still got the win, 124-117. And LeBron James and Anthony Davis were just remarkable, uh, to say the least. LeBron came in with 35-5-5. Five, and five. Uh, Davis with 34-15-7, and seven, almost a triple-double. Uh, both were just, again, just tremendous. Uh, outside of that... You had Russ, who had, you know, almost a double-double, 11-4-9 in only 21 minutes. Uh, but that was interesting. He uh, didn't play pretty much the entire fourth quarter. I don't believe he played the fourth quarter at all. Uh, and just, you know, went to the locker room, and we'll see what's going on with that. Uh, but outside of that, uh, Walker was the only one uh, to be in double digits besides uh, our big three of Westbrook, LeBron, and Davis. Uh, although Reeves was right there with nine points, and he hit probably the biggest shot of the night which was, again, fantastic. On the other side, uh, you had the Detroit Pistons, who, Boyan Bogdanovich, who, man, that dude single-handedly <laughs> tried to beat the Lakers and almost did, almost did. The dude had 38 points, four rebounds, two assists, was 6 of 12 from three. He is now shooting 44% from three-point range, uh, 12 of 22 overall. He is part of the 50-40-90 club uh, so far this season, and he had like 25 in the third quarter or something like that. Like, they had no answer for Boyan Bogdanovich. It was like insane. Uh, and this, and maybe it's just me, but this really felt like an audition. I mean, Boyan Bogdanovich has one of the best games of his career against the team that is trying to go after him. Right, a team that has been linked to him for some time. Right, this seemed like a game where Boyan was like, "Come get me." Right, I'm on Detroit. I want to be on a contender. I want to win. I'm only getting older. Right, he's 33, gonna be 34. Like, he doesn't want to be on Detroit. You know, a lot of the issues were he want many teams, the Lakers included, thought that he wanted a long term, you know, four year, 20 plus million a year deal. And he signed for two years on like 18, 19 million a year. So the Lakers, that could be very enticing. Also, Boyan Bogdanovich falls perfectly in line with LeBron James, Anthony Davis, and all the, the contracts that the Lakers have, right? So he would be a perfect timeline kind of guy uh, to where you have him, LeBron's contract, uh, you know, is up. He's probably going to go play with the son. Boyan, you let him go and you just kind of rebuild. Right, rebuild, retool, whatever. Uh, you keep Anthony Davis, you kind of build a new team around Anthony Davis. Uh, if Boyan is still playing great at that time, maybe you sign him to you know a smaller deal, uh, something something like that. But nonetheless, Boyan right now this season is a perfect complement for the Lakers. I mean, he's a guy that would slot in seamlessly next to LeBron and Anthony Davis. He would be their third scoring option. Now, obviously, he's probably not going to. He's averaging twenty one a game right now. Uh, he is their leading scorer. He's kind of their number one option. He's, you know, putting up, you know, 22 shots a game or whatever. That's probably not happening with the Lakers, right? Like, if we're being honest, he's probably not putting up 20, you know, 22 a game. Uh, he, you know, every once in a while, maybe he has, you know, a 38-point outburst, some, especially playing next to LeBron James, Anthony Davis. I would imagine his efficiency would be even better with LeBron James and Anthony Davis, because right now he is their number one option. He is their leading scorer, and teams still can't stop him, right? He's still putting up 21 on 50, 40, 90 shooting. Now, imagine if you had LeBron James and Anthony Davis, but he's a guy that easily should be giving you 15 plus a night, right? And on a, on a great efficiency, that's the key, right? He's not going to need 20 shots to get you 15. If he takes 20 shots, he's probably getting you 30, and so that would be huge for the Lakers. It gives them a sizable win. Uh, you know, he's not the greatest defender in the world, but he tries. You know, he's not like some guy. Like Buddy Heald is basically a, a swinging door, right? Ah, oh, just come on in. Here you go. You know, easy layup to the basket. Where Boyan, you know, he tries to stay in front of guys. Also, Boyan can put the ball on the floor and create his own shot a little bit, which is huge, right? So basically, if you break it down, 60% of Boyan's uh, shots come from the pull-up, whether it's, you know, dribble pull-up or it's, you know, pass 
you know, dribble or two, pull up, or, you know, just, you know, uh, getting the ball on either side, taking a step, pull up, uh, or the other shots are basically catch and shoot, right? He's, he's in the corner, he's on the wing, he's on, you know, whatever. Uh, so 60% of his shots, the other 40%, are basically shots that he's creating himself. So he is a guy that can do both. He's a guy that can play on the ball. He can play off the ball. Uh, he can contribute in a, a multitude of ways. Uh, he just He's a very solid player that would be perfect for the Lakers. And I don't imagine he's going to cost a, a fortune, right? Uh, they basically got him for, <laughs> for Kelly Olenek. Um, so, you know, how much is it going to cost... To, to get Boyan, I don't imagine it's a first round pick unless they're throwing in other pieces. You know, maybe if you work out a deal for like Bogdanovich, Bay, and Burks, you know, maybe if you do something like that, maybe you could, if you're the Lakers, you justify a first because you're getting Boyan Bogdanovich, you're getting uh, Sadiq Bay, who's a young uh, three and D wing. And on top of that, you're getting um, Alec Burke, who could be, you know, your starting shooting guy. Like all three of those guys could start uh you could probably bring Sadiq Bay off the bench if you wanted to like you could have literally a starting five of like Walker um uh you know say Walker Burks Boyan LeBron and Davis now you got shooting you got defense you got size you got a little bit of everything right and uh even Sadiq Bay who again a guy that's linked to the Lakers had another solid showing I mean 26 minutes 14 points took 14 shots he was four of eight from three so he showed the three-point shooting. Uh, he had two steals. Uh, again, it, it just it looked like a showing. And Boyan, I mean, come on. How is this? I I just, look, he, his job is to just go out there and play basketball, right? His job is to go out there and do what he does best. But 38 points, completely taking over the third quarter, trying to beat the Lakers. Like, this just felt like his moment, right? Because he didn't play the last time uh, the Lakers faced off, uh, if I'm not mistaken. So, you know, this was like his showcase. You know, like the Lakers wanted to trade for me uh, earlier in the season uh, or before the season began, I should say, and didn't. And now uh, there's talks of, you know, the, the Lakers maybe trading for me again. Let me show these guys what I can do. Let me go out here and show, oh, look, no, I'm for real. I'm this dude. You know, I, I can I can help you. Right. Like that is what you what you want to see. Um, you want to see that that showing out. Um, but yeah, so Boyan did play in the first game. He had 20 points in the first game. So both games, he has put up at least 20 points against the Lakers. And once again, showing that versatility, showing a, a little bit of everything, right? Like he is a guy that, one, I don't think it's going to cost a fortune. You're probably giving up Patrick Beverly and, you know, maybe Damian Jones or something. I, I really think the Lakers are going to go and get uh, Cam Reddish. It's just a, a thought of mine. I don't know for sure. But if the reports are true that uh, a second-round pick is probably what Cam Reddish goes for, I think the Lakers probably trade Kendrick Nunn and go get Cam Reddish and then try to take like Patrick Beverly and Damian Jones or something like that and, and go get Boyan Bogdanovich so they'd get Boyan and Cam Reddish. That is my thoughts. Um, you know, but... Maybe they maybe they do something else. You know, Boyan Bogdanovich might be the best player and the best fit the Lakers could get. Like, I like the Spurs deal. Um, I like the Hornets deal, right? If especially if you get PJ Washington, like PJ Washington, Terry Rozier, Kelly Oubre, if you get those three guys, that might be the best deal just because PJ Washington's youth and age. Or if you could get like Miles Bridges, that would be even better. But realistically, if the Hornets would be willing to give up P.J. Washington, that might be the best deal that the Lakers can get as a whole. Uh, and then, I, I, you know, Spurs deal, you get Doug McDermott, uh, Yaka Pirtle, Josh Richardson, plus a trade exception. You know, do something like that. Okay, I can understand that. All of those players could be very helpful and help, very beneficial to the Lakers. But I don't think one of those players is as good of a natural fit as Boyan Bogdanovich. Boyan Bogdanovich would be the perfect because he doesn't need the ball. You know, he doesn't. He, he's he's not a guy that's going to demand taking twenty shots. If if he's hot and you're feeding him the hot hand, he's gonna he's gonna keep knocking him down for you. But if he takes ten shots that game and gets you know ten points, he doesn't care, right? He's a guy that's going to come in. He's going to do what you ask of him. He's going to provide what you want from him, and he's just going to be a solid contributor and a big player for the Lakers. And that's what we need. We need a guy that can come in that doesn't really care 
about his stats. He can give you 15 tonight. You can count on him. He can hit the big shot. He can, you know, take over a quarter. You know, he, he can provide some relief from Davis and LeBron. Uh, and we don't have a guy like him on the court. You know, like right now, a problem that Lakers are having, especially with Anthony Davis, is teams are fronting, are putting a guy in the front and the back of Anthony Davis and just letting guys like Schroeder or Patrick Beverly or whomever just shoot the ball. Because it's like, okay, what what are we worried about more? Patrick Beverly, who's shooting like 12% from three or whatever? Like, are we more worried about him? Or are we more worried about Anthony Davis getting the ball in the post and getting an easy bucket or an and one or something like that? Like, Anthony Davis has a better chance of getting a three-point play in, in the paint than, you know, Schroeder... Or, or Pat Bev, or, you know, Troy Brown, or some of these other guys do knocking down a three. So, just leave them open. But if you have a guy like Boyan Bogdanovich, who's shooting, you know, 44% from three, and he's a career 40% three-point shooter, now you can't front him. Now, you, you, you know, if Anthony Davis is there, and you can't, you have to go contest Boyan. So now it just opens the floor. You add spacing, which will help, you know, Russ and LeBron, or if you trade Russ, whatever other pieces you get. It just however you slice it. Boyan Bogdanovich could could legitimately be the answer the Lakers are looking for. Does he make us a, a you know a lock or a contender? I don't know. It, it depends. It depends on what the end result is. I think him by himself doesn't, but I think it puts us a lot closer. I really do. I think it puts us a lot closer. But anyway. As always, this is a discussion, so I pass the question on you. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. What do you think? You think it was a, a, a showing out? You think he was an audition? Uh, do you want to see Boyan on the Lakers? Uh, the other thing is, too, that I didn't mention is that, one, his playoff experience is huge, right? He's a guy that's been in the playoffs, has hit shots in the playoffs, stuff like that, so that's big. Um, and just his veteran leadership, things like that. So there's a lot of things that go into it. Uh, he's not he's not shy, and he's not afraid of the moment. So that would be huge. But again, I already feel good, bad, ugly, somewhere in between. Let me know down in the comments below.